Okay, let's go. Bye. Hey, Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. together right see ya You know? I'm sad. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So... You think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz... wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. <laughs> there goes our ride.
going on? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, yes. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of Heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? What? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds, are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? <laughs> you! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. <laughs> Heartless Squad, round up! You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful.
It's a good thing we're on the job, then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? Hey there. Show us, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront.
Wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora! You sure are growing fast! Uh, I guess... 